How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. We're doing two a day right now, and as you guys can see on screen, it was the SPC. We got an SPC for a team in the group stage, and it is Karim Benzema, the dream, or Karim the dream Benzema, however you do want to say it. So we're going to review the dream the day, and lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that hype, smash that like, and let's see if we can crack 1,000 like on this team of the group stage, SBC. I think it's got a few more days than it has left as well. So uh, in terms of SBC, it's not that expensive. It's 80k on the PlayStation, 80k on the Xbox, not that, that expensive. And um, if you're brand new to the channel or anything like that, if you want footmas reviews, you want team of the group stage reviews, you want... Any content, basically, let me know content you do want to see and let me know the reviews that you want to see in the comment section below. And um, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell as well to be notified of when I do upload on the channel. As I'm watching the football in the background as well, by the way, it's Leicester versus uh, Aston Villa right now. 1 0 Leicester, Jamie Vardy, he keeps on scoring. But uh, Karim Benzema, he's a focus today. Now, he's not got 80 pace, he doesn't have um, like the, the fluid pace that um, you don't associate with Benzema because Benzema's not the fastest in the world, you know what I'm saying? But um, he's got a lot of qualities going for him now. How I've described him in the past is that he's a lazy striker. Now, a striker means that you score goals and stuff. A lazy striker means that you don't move, but you still score goals. That's my kind of analysis of that anyways. So, um, yeah, Benzema, he scores goals in this game. He's got a fantastic finishing record for myself, which you will see in the gameplay highlights. In terms of formation, let's see, we're playing four, uh, what did I do? Four, four, two and four, two, three, one with him in the squad. Morales sometimes went alongside him at striker. And other times, Morales went into midfield in the, the free camp formation. Playing balanced five, four, five, four, two and two on um, the, the defensive style, the width, the depth of the offensive style and stuff like that. In terms of the instructions on Karim Benzema, I've got get him behind and stay forward on him. Lads, he's going to stay forward anyways. I don't really need that instruction on him because he does have medium to low work rates and he's just not that energetic in the game. Let's just say that much. Um, oh, it's 2-0 Leicester right now. 2-0 Leicester. Leicester just scored on my screen. Ian Atchew, I think, just scored as well. But um, yeah, Benzema's not like the most energetic striker in the world. He's got medium to low work rates and he's going to stay forward regardless. But I want him to be on the shoulder of last man. Even though with the 6 foot 1 heights and stuff like that, the strength that he's got, you can use him as a hold-up striker. I don't tend to use strikers in a certain hold-up sense. Now, Benzema's going to play with his back to goal. He normally does that anyways. But um, with Benzema, you can shield it. You can bring others into play. Short passing is tremendous. So you can utilize this guy as a target striker, a poacher, and all of the above. In terms of the work rates, they are medium to low. He's got right foot primarily. He's got the four-star combo, four-star weak foot, and four-star skills. In terms of the game stats today, you can see he's got 81 acceleration, but a slow stop speed of 76. Hence why I did use an engine on him. Engine, for whatever reason, um, it's not vastly used among strikers in this game because it doesn't boost the shooting or anything like that. But I looked at his agility, I looked at his pace, and I thought what could boost both of them up, basically, his balance as well. And uh, Engine was that game style. So he did boost that up, and as you can see on your screen right now, um, it goes to 70, well, actually, it goes to a bit higher in terms of agility. It actually got 79 agility. It's got 70 balance, 86 reactions, 92 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 89 composure. The finishing is where you look at this card because you want him to score goals. He's got 92 attacking position in, 88 finishing, 86 shot power, 79 long shots, 87 volleys, and 86 penalties. Kind of dictates what kind of a strike he's going to be in this game. It's going to be a poacher inside the area. It's going to be a, a striker that scores inside the box. Outside the area, you will get your chance here and there, but you want him in the box and you want him scoring goals. When it comes to dribbling, 79 agility, 70 balance, but uh, great rest of his stats from the reactions of 86, the ball control 92, the dribbling 88, and the 89 composure. The strength is there with the card, but he doesn't have the aggression. 82 strength and 66 aggression. He's got 81 stamina, 79 jumping, and 89 hidden accuracy with his uh, 6 foot 1 in terms of height. So, lads, with that being said, let's get in the gameplay highlight for Karim Benzema. So here we go, lads. Into the gameplay we go and we flow because it's just like, it rhymes. But anyways, guys, Benzema in the game is going to score goals. You can see his lovely touch there. Nice little ball roll and a finish at the near post because his ball con control, even on like uh, the ball rolls and the skills that he does do, it's always close to his body. Always close to his body despite the lack of balance, despite the lack of agility and the acceleration. 
Lads, his ball control is phenomenal. It really, really is. That's when he's prostrated the ball control because it's always close to his body. No matter what he does in this game, it's always close to his body. And see, uh, a nice turn there. And again, the ball control is always in control right there. He turns, he finished. Because what is this guy? He's a finisher. A pure, pure finisher. He scores everything. Absolutely everything. You give him a chance, it's back on it. Sayonara, good night. Every single time. Because he's got 88 finishing, he's got 89 composure and 86 shot power. He's going to score goals in this game. And um, give him a chance, man. He will score. As you see the chance here, it's Neymar on the ball. Neymar's going to put it across. I would have took this first time, but hit a suck on this game. Takes a touch, lovely ball control, and a nice volley finish into the back of the net. Before jumping into the crowd, I think that game he scored a hat trick, I believe it was. Um, but again, he's a goal scorer in this game, and you do expect that from Benzema. In terms of shot power, it's there with the card. You can see it even on that replay and stuff like that. He's got a lot of shot power on his volleys, on his shots in general, and just on his finishing in general. Sometimes you have this delicate touch to him, but normally it's tinged with a lot of shot power in his shots. Strength. He's a strong player in this game. He's a strong boy in this game. Six foot one in terms of height, and he's got 82 strength. He's very strong. He can shield the ball and do all of the things above. As again, it's another beautiful finish. That time on his weak foot, the four star weak foot. That brings us to another pro, the four star combo. Four star skills, four star weak foot. Very beneficial with this card and beneficial with any card in this game to have that kind of combo in this game. Um, in terms of the ball control, it's there. Strength is there. I, I talked about the shooting there and stuff like that. The passing. Why the passing? Because, like I said earlier on, he plays with his back to goal the majority of the times because of his work rates. Now, with him playing with his back to goal and utilizing him as like a target man, you need good passing. You need to bring the midfielders in the game. You need to play the, the ram, the lamb, the left wing, the right wing, the left forward, the right forward, the striker alongside him. You need to bring them into the game. And with 88 short passing and 89 vision and 84 curve, you can be rest assured he will do that every single time. The only cons I've found with this card was in fact his top speed. He doesn't have the breakaway pace that you associate with a lot of different strikers on this game. Even Morales, who is in the same team, has a lot more pace than Karim Benzema. So don't think I'm going to pick up his cards and he's going to have loads of breakaway pace and get in behind defences, score this goal, score that goal, run past this player, run past that player. He's not about that life. Simple as that. And the movements. He's a lazy striker, lads. Lazy striker. And what I mean by a lazy striker is not his abilities or anything like that. It's his inability to think for himself and make runs himself. Basically, his positioning is flawless. He's always in the right position, but... You need to trigger the runner, you need to press LB and L1, depending on which console you're on, and you need to make a move, otherwise, he's going to stick to his man, and what I mean by that is, the player that's marking him, is not going to have to work too hard and stuff like that, and he's going to mark him very, very easily, as Aston Villa come close there in the background, but with that being said, lads, let's get into your ball rating for this SBC, Karim Benzema. So there we have it, I said Aston Villa literally just come close like two seconds ago, two seconds later, Jack Grealish puts the ball in the back of the net, and it is 2-1 in the match, or 1-2, depending on how you look at it. But, anyways, the focus of today wasn't the match, it was actually Karim Benzema, as you guys would have known. And um, I've got to say, this is a very cheap, effective SBC on this game, which, um, yeah, it's, 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 a good, it's a good card. Now, Benzema in the past, FIFA 19, FIFA 18, FIFA 17, I've never really agreed with this player, but this is a card I can get on board with. Why is that? He's a pure finisher on this game. Now, strikers don't always finish every single chance. Benzema's one of the very few that gets a chance, puts it in the back of the net. Gets a chance, puts it in the roof of the net. You know what I'm saying? He's a great finisher on this game, and he will score goal after goal after goal. And for 80,000 coins, that's not bad at all, lads. So in terms of your overall rating, he will get an 8.9, which is quite decent last is quite decent and it's um it's very deserving it's very very deserving that rating for this card and in terms of value for coins he's getting a 9.6 9.6 is great because he's 80,000 coins lads SBCs this year in terms of price have ranged from the 20 keys to uh, the 500 keys honestly you're looking at some extreme prices some normal prices but I reckon this is a cheap price for this SBC I know what you're gonna say I'm on a road of glory is it worth it because like I don't have FIFA points to spend or anything like that have a look at your team look at your team analyze your team and think Will Benzema be a fixture in the team for the foreseeable future? If not, don't do the SPC, as simple as that. But if um, you've got spare coins and stuff like that, this SPC is well worth it. 9.6 is what he's getting there. Enjoyment rating 8.5. And I fully reckon he's a starter. Starter for many teams on this game. So, as a sub, I don't think you'll have that much of an impact. But as a starter, 
and definitely get the best out of him. He played six games for me. Uh, so, uh, was it mainly in for champions? I believe a lot of it were in for champions. Scored eight times in the six games and assisted the ones. 8.5, 8.2 and 9.3 uh, were his first four games, be well, three games before. In the fourth, I think he got the hat trick that you've seen at the start of this video. So he definitely came into play once I started like learning uh, the bits and um, his kind of... I don't know, what, what's the word for it? It's, um, it's kind of traits in game. Once I learned what he actually did and uh, his habits are and what he naturally does in game, I've started getting used to this card a bit more. So if you use this card for maybe one, maybe two games, and you don't like the cards, give him another chance. Really give him another chance. Get to use this card a little bit more. It's a fantastic card on this game. In terms of links, any French links, any Real Madrid links, will give him very good links on this game. And any Liga BBVA, I'm looking at you, Player of the Month Messi, which is coming out very, very soon. That could be a sensational link to another untradeable within La Liga. In terms of similar player, I've used him today, and it's Robert Lewandowski. Robert Lewandowski is very similar to his cards in a number of different ways, from uh, the pace, which is not very impressive on either cards, to the finishing, which is very impressive on both cards, to the dribbling, which is quite similar on both cards, 88 and 89, I do believe, and um, stuff like that. They are very similar cards in a lot of different aspects. In terms of the key pro, will be the finishing, the key con will be that movement of Karim Ben. Some of the best games that will be engine. That's just an example of what I boosted up on the card. 92 cent 40 goes to 92 cam, 92 right forward, left forward, 91 left wing and right wing. And if you wonder about striker, he sticks to his rating of an 89. In terms of the best within La Liga in that position, Griezmann is numero uno, followed by numero dos in Benzema, numero tres in Morales. Team of the group stage, Mbappe leads the way for the French strikers on this game. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Haven't used that card yet, but rest assured he will be the best French striker easily on this game and i say yet because should i review that card let me know in the comment section below i can definitely review the card but with team of the year right around the corner do you just want to wait for team of the year it's, it's up to you guys basically lads let me know in the comment section below inform ben Yedda comes in at number two and then it'll be like benzema griezmann griezmann benzema those kind of players behind that in terms of passing he's getting an eight out of ten same for shooting a physical seven and dribbling will be a seven as well and lads I hope you have enjoyed this video, man. I've enjoyed making it. I've enjoyed uh, the reviews over the past few days. Now, I hope you've enjoyed the content on the channel. If you have, once again, leave a like. I will have another review out tonight. So, uh, what's, what's that saying? Keep a hold of your horses or something like that? Uh, hold on your horses. It's going to be a wild ride. So, I don't know. That's not the saying. Lads, uh, anyways, if you've enjoyed the video, like the video. 1,000 likes to your target. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.